Choosing the right design method will set the tone of your entire design process. As mentioned in my user flows versus task flows videos linked here above, I map out a flow before doing any actual design work. This helps me understand the user journey better. In today's video, we'll start off doing a task flow together. I use these types of diagrams in order to get a better picture of a linear sequence of steps that a user will walk through when performing a defined task. Let's go. As an example, I want you to imagine doing the sign-up flow design for a food delivery app. Recently, I've started to use FigJam. With all of the progress they've been making lately, I feel like it's easier to keep my ideas, flows, and diagrams living in a FigJam file while my actual design work is on Figma. Let's open up a FigJam file and get to work. Since we're doing a task flow, I draw the steps in a linear sequence. I'll map out a bunch of empty boxes first and draw an arrow that shows how each step or box builds onto the next one. Now that I have a few of them laid out, I start off by defining the task. For me, this step is necessary because it keeps me focused on the task at hand. Successfully signing up for a food delivery app there we go I'll make that a subheading all right now it's time to put yourself in the shoes of the user and imagine going through the process they would probably see a welcome screen first so I'll type in that to begin with first And then a few sign up options. And since the users are hungry, we don't want to keep them for too long. So let's skip any steps to fill in your profile and leave that for later. We want to make sure we get them into the app fast. However, after they select the sign up method, I guess they would have to verify their account with their phone number. Perhaps in order to both secure their account, but also make sure that the profile is connected to the right number for all of the food deliveries. Verification process. Once they enter their phone number, they would receive an OTP, which stands for one time pin. It's a four or six digit code that they receive through a text and enter in order to verify their number. Now, once that's done, they could be presented with a success screen, something welcoming. So just a success screen, welcoming, perhaps some graphics and a CTA button to get them into the app. And last but not least, the CTA button from the previous step would get them to the main view of the app. So this would be the final step, main view of the app or feed. Six easy steps that help them go from start to finish. Remember, we want to keep this simple. Don't think of any edge cases or branches just yet. Simplicity is the foundation of creating a task flow. Now looking at this diagram, you can start ideating on the wireframes. We can start off by setting up a couple of different device frames. Let's select the rectangle box. Turn this into a device frame. Uh, let's skip the fill. And I'll just copy this over for all six of the frames. Now that we have that done, uh, let's look into the welcoming screen. So I guess, um, and, and actually this is probably better on an iPad. Um, especially if you're used to drawing by hand. But since we're already on the laptop, we can just stick to it and finish it off. I would assume you would have some kind of a title at the top and perhaps some graphics or even some descriptive text and a smaller size at the bottom. And then a couple of different boxes for CTAs. The sign up methods. The next step, sign up options. 
that would be depending on which of the buttons that I choose, I would be redirected to, I guess, some kind of a third party view where I see some kind of sign up flow or authentication, maybe some text, maybe some checkbox and perhaps some terms at the bottom. The third step verification process an input field for the phone number and then some kind of a CTA at the bottom. We can actually turn these CTAs blue just so it's consistent and easier to understand. In this case, let's say like one of these options is a CTA as well. Perhaps we can stick that to the bottom and keep all of the other stuff at the top. And then some kind of a numbered keyboard so you can enter your phone number. So I will leave that space at the bottom for that. It's not too easy to draw with the mouse, so excuse the rough design, but this is the fun part of doing task flows as well. Like nothing has to be perfect at all. It's just fun drawings that just gets you from a vision to an actual idea fast. Now that we're done with that, we have the OTP code verification process. So very similarly to all of the other views you can actually copy this one over but with the distinction of us having let's say four boxes for the four digit code now since you're done with this we end up with one of the final screens the success screen this goes to show that everything is done and finished. Some kind of a graphic here at the top and perhaps some text, some descriptive text, and last but not least, a CTA. Once you click in on that CTA, you are taken to the main view of the app or the feed. So we can imagine the top bar, the bottom bar with a couple of different icons. Perhaps the logo or something. And then we have a bunch of different cards for the food app, all of the restaurants and stuff like that. So we can just place these out. And that's pretty much it. So we have the diagram that pretty much outlines everything from start to finish, the welcome screen, the sign up options, the verification process, the OTP code verification, success screen, and the main view of the app or the feed. And then we just have a couple of really roughly drawn sketches that just outlines the potential customer journey or user experience. This is it. As you see, by lowering the threshold, you'll get the ball rolling and keep the ideas flowing in. This is why I love using task flows at the beginning of the process of designing or redesigning a user journey. In the next video, I'll show you guys how we can take it to the next level by applying the user flows method. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit the like button below for more videos like this. See you guys in the next one. Peace.